Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. For those who don't know, uh, or missed or, or don't know where we're at right now, we just set off the nuclear reactor thing and m pissed off the hive, basically. We were down in the nest, now we're heading back, and just like a swarm of aliens came out of there. So I thought we were only dealing with one alien in this game. Apparently we have like a whole f shitload of them. Um, so now we are just trying to head back. And I have a feeling that's too much noise, and we are going to die now. Oh shit, did this place malfunction? Oh, good. Whew. Good God. Go get it, what's up, dude? Uh, how many times have you run through this game, Seek? This is my only- this is my first time. This is my first time playing. And we are, I think, on mission like 14 or 15 right now, and there's 19 total. So, yeah, this is my first time. Actually, so I don't know anything about what's gonna happen or or anything. We've got to get to it. Is it talking? No, but it's in a holding position nearby. Head for the ambulance bay. The shuttles are really short range, but they'll make it. Got it. Find a short range ambulance. Oh shit! It's behind me. Okay, let's go save. Angel, for those who just joined in, Angel, instead of buying Resident Evil 7, gave her friend money because her friend's water got shut off. And she helped her friend out instead of buying a video game. That is a great thing for you to do. Uh, just shows what an awesome person you are. So everyone, make sure you're following Angel Rose. And if she has a link to PayPal or Venmo or anything, I asked if she would drop it in the chat so that we can all give her a few bucks. I'm going to give her 10, probably $15 next Friday towards Resident Evil 7. Let's see if we can get her 60 bucks so she could buy Resident Evil 7. And then forgive me, I have to go into quiet mode right now because anything I say into the mic, the aliens can hear me and they'll come kill me. So if I miss something in the chat, uh, I apologize. I talk amongst yourselves and I'll pop back in and out when I can. Okay, here we go. No, he did. All right, where are we going? Oh, the furthest room. Oh, that's not too far. Silent seek mode. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Jones. Hold on, I gotta pause for a second. Van Jones, dude. Everybody, shout out to Van Jones. Van is the one who donated this game to the channel. Uh, and Van, like I said, this is one of my favorite games I've played all year. This game is so intense, so creepy, and I think it's preparing me really well for Resident Evil 7 because I feel like this has a nice balance of action and and stealth, and that's kind of what Resident Evil 7 has uh, from from what you know what I've seen of it and stuff. So I would say that this. This is definitely a good uh, precursor to Resident Evil 7. I'm glad we're still playing it. Alright, here we go. BRB, no problem. No problem, Goldheart. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna bite that alien. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> so what's up that dude left himself behind 
<laughs> I'm gonna bite that alien. I'm gonna do it. Tastes like chicken, I reckon. Amen to that. Probably does. Like leathery, acidy chicken. <laughs> Just more acidish. <laughs> do it. I'll record it and put it on YouTube. <laughs> nice. I'm back. Have fun, Joe. Have fun with that. <laughs> PT with chicken. Well, I was watching Arrested Development because I was trying to get um, Job's uh, or uh, Will Arnett's voice down for my when I'm do doing Batman's voice for my Lego show. And I was like watching the episodes where he was like doing the chicken dance. And he's like, I was like, shit. I love that show. Yeah. I spent four days trying to get, and I'm not even trying to like fully imitate Will Arnett. I'm just trying to like, get the Batman voice down, you know, like, like a little bit of Alec Baldwin, a little bit of Will Arnett. And, uh, it was driving me fucking crazy. I'm like, so I sat there and recorded on, uh, um, what is it? Atrocity? Uh, uh what's the audio recording software? The free one. Ricardo, can you hear me? Um, I was cracking myself up. Shit. Audacity. That's it. Oh, yeah. Four, one, four, five, one, oh. Uh, no, and I didn't want to. <laughs> That's one interesting whistle or butt. <laughs> oh, you guys. You guys and gals. Killing me, Smalls. Oh, this is going to make a ton of fucking noise. Hello, Santa. I figured go get it. No, I wasn't a different type of video, but I... I j oh, gotcha. Different video. I think I can never hear blow my whistle without hearing the melody and farts. <laughs> Suck on my butt whistle, alien. With both your mouths. Oh, this is... Shit. It doesn't sound like this room's gonna blow up. Ricardo, in case you're hearing me, that thing is going to basic power systems back on my I was trying to say, hey guys, help me get RE7. I just stating this, the reason why I'm not going to get it. Oh, I know, I know, Angel. We know. That's a, that's okay. No, that's obviously we we know you didn't do that. No, that's no one's no one's uh accusing you of that. We just I just thought it was a nice thing you did, so I was just trying to repay the, just pay it forward. Marlo, um, where are you, Marlo? So yeah, no, I, I didn't. No one thought that. Welcome to the Shitning, directed by M Night Shikalon. <laughs> M Night Sikalon. <laughs> I've never heard anyone butt whistle the Lost Woods theme from Well PT. Get ready. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't follow that up. What am why do I sound like I'm why does I'm I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm walking around and it sounds like my character has like shit in their pants. Like it sounds like they're wearing the diaper I'm currently wearing right now. And they're just like mushing around poop. Like I just hear like, I don't know if you guys hear that. Like it sounds like a, it sounds like metal moving and a and splashy, like sp a splashy sound afterwards. Uh, <laughs> Whew. Oh, 
See, I now have that visual. <laughs> you know what, Joe? You're welcome. You're welcome. So Marlowe just wants to straight up a, a racist event. At, I mean, I'm kind of with him a little bit on that, to be honest with you. I mean, he's going to some extremes, it looks like, but he ain't wrong. Sound, did you have, uh, like, shit floating in waterbed? <laughs> it does, right? I'm, like, walking around with a waterbed attached to my ass, full of diarrhea. Yeah, she's dragging her uh, shit-filled pants with her every time you crouch. <laughs> DD footsteps, DD. <laughs> nice. You guys are amazing. Is it starting to run down your leg? Because that's gross. Starting to. My legs are made of shit now. <laughs> I'm like the Golgothan shit demon from Dogma. I'm just like, I'm like Clayface, but made of shit. <laughs> it's, uh, you done dead. I know, man. I'm, I feel like, I feel like it's coming. Alien being the cleanup guy, he's like, who, who the fuck sprays shit everywhere? <laughs> this girl. This girl will shit all over space. In space, no one can hear you shit your pants. I'm Batman. If you flight. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Same thing that happens every day. We try to take over the world, Pinky. Narcissus? Is that what that said? Report personal message. This is for my daughter. Holy shit. Hi, Amanda. I'm recording this for you, my sweetheart. And I hope you get to hear it one day. That's Sigourney Weaver's voice, isn't it? I, um, I got into trouble. Um, my In space, ship, no one can hear you shit your pants. I'm Batman. <laughs> sweetheart, and um, we Thanks, found Santa. an alien creature. I'm too young to hear this. I need an adult. <laughs> and the only way we could stop it was Ripley to hype. destroy the ship. Oh my god, this is awesome. Uh, I'm okay. I'm stuck on this lifeboat, long way out. But we had to destroy the ship. We had to destroy the Nostromo. We just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us. Is this a new recording? Because I know she sent a tape to her daughter you. in Aliens, and they played it back Don't to her worry. in the extended edition. Don't worry about me. But is, uh, sure and Dallas could probably correct soon. me on that, but is this new dialogue, I love Dallas? You, That's fucking awesome. I think this is now my favorite quote ever. <laughs> In space, no one can hear you shit your pants. I'm Batman. <laughs> Ripley loses it. I know, man. Oh, my God. That's, for the character, too, I love that. Like, Amanda's character is, like, to get that message from her mom and to know that it was hidden... Uh, from the company and stuff that they didn't send it to her but it's good to know that she got it because we weren't sure when you watched aliens oh shit whoa whoa don't dude don't shoot her although apparently she's a bad guy maybe I'm not sure on that voice um I think it was their 10th follower or close yeah angel you were like yeah one of my first like first five or ten absolutely you came in I was playing Resident Evil I believe uh, not sure on the voice, though. You may think it might be just be like a uh, someone who tries to sound like her. Just take a shot each time you die and sip a beer each time you get scared. And rename tonight's stream fuck-faced and scared. <laughs> Shit-faced and scared. <laughs> Sorry, fuck-faced is my word. I don't drink alcohol, so uh, <laughs> I can't really. Um, so, uh, yeah. I <laughs> can't really do it. Can't really do it and make it effective. Like if it's new. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. It's entirely possible it was cut from the original Alien, but I didn't see the extended cut, so my gut says new dialogue. I'm thinking, I'm thinking so because there was a lot of us in there. Oh shit! Good on you, girl. Awesome on the devs. Yeah, absolutely. I, I agree. 
It was actually, it was Sigourney's voice. Okay, that's what I thought. It did sound like her. It just sounded like older her. Like, it didn't sound like young her. But there is an, on the director's cut of Aliens, there's a scene at the beginning where they where they replay, I think Paul Reiser plays her a message that she sent to her daughter and then shows her her daughter's picture and that her daughter lived to be like 80 years old or something like that. Hashtag Wrench Revenge. Get wrecked, son. Wrecked, Joe says. Wrecked. Oh shit, do we, are we supposed to do something? Oh yeah, we are. Poor Taylor's gonna die if we don't charge this thing. Oh uh, well, yeah, it's a green but they could have asked her to record it now. That's what I'm thinking. It's like, cause like I feel like some of that You're doing good, Taylor. sounded new. Feels bad, man. Aw, do don't feel bad, dude. We love you, PT. It'll be there, Taylor. Trust me. The game may be sad, but That's we love it. you. Come on, hit it. Shit. <laughs> we fucking died, didn't we? <laughs> I didn't do it in time. Shit. Uh, they had brought some of the cast on board to do some recording for Isolate. Nice, dude. Nice. Good to know. Yeah, it's, like I said, it sounded like her and it sounded like new. And I think there was a little thing at the beginning with her voice too, but I thought that was from the movie. All right, so let's, do, let's go faster this time. You can play as some of the old crew and the extra material, right? Yeah, that's what I heard. Which I have, by the way. Seek's diaper exploded at last. <laughs> yep, okay. sure did. Yeah, I guess they would have to. Or at least get people who sound like It'll them. There, you died, you have to take a shot. <laughs> I don't drink, dude. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? we get it? Oh, shoot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Help Taylor Swift. Turn the ship into a brown dwarf. <laughs> Shall I do the death count command? Nah, the death count command's not updated. This isn't part of zombie month, so the death count command doesn't work on I mean, we're, like, we're not doing it for this. Uh, all right, well. You gotta, you have to, you give me time to answer, Joe. <laughs> Damn, that's right. I gotta reset it anyway. Do you have hot sauce, Seek? I don't have hot sauce. And I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not gonna drink hot sauce. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill myself. Um, yeah, the, the death count for this month is only for zombie month. So we don't have one for alien. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh shit, okay. Great. Oh, what? That was nice of the game to open the door for us. Shit, this is a haul your ass mission. <laughs> Wrecked again. Oh, I know, dude. She got messed up. Isn't there a save around here? I, I We passed it. Shit. <laughs> Oh crap, burn, burn, good call, Seek. <laughs> Feel the burn. Feel the burn. You gotta spell it like Bernie Sanders, though. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god, yeah, that was an epic fail. I was like, wait a minute, why is my controller vibrating when I'm saving? And then I just see her like, ow, ow, my arms, I'm burning. <laughs> this, <laughs> this game, dude. I love this game. Oh shit, turn. I'm just glad no face huggers like jumped out while we were in this room. Oh my god. And to think, all the shit and the, the, the full diapers I left behind, half this station is combustible because of all the, the, the diapers full of shit that I left. Oh shit. Whoa, what was that? Did you guys see like a gun floating in midair back there? Uh, what's up, Martian Cat? How you doing, darling? I know I gave her a shout out on the last one, but Martian Cat hit a, um, what was it again? Martian Cat, you have to remind me. I, I saw her post it. Like, I guess now Twitch or, or something out there, like, posts 
it like like randomly or something or its favorite streamers and it's its first week it started to do that and it posted martian cat which was super awesome to see her name up there um the space station is flammable from all the methane from the crap filled diapers yeah pretty much pretty much find a way to contact the torrens is that like a family the torrens do we know the torrents? Did we invite them over for Thanksgiving? Uh, putting out the fire with the butt whistle. <laughs> no, the butt whistle makes the fire worse. Uh, Joe says dead eye. That uh, B O T W link. Oh, gotcha. I can. I'll skip that. You guys talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> oh, Torrens was that chick. Gotcha. Okay. It's as stealthy as I get, guys. From the windows to the walls. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. That was a. Uh, that fire sucked. Blow on your starboard side. Took out an entire orbital stabilizer array. We have no place to dock. Please tell us what's going on. Dying a lot tonight, man. I'll leave this channel open. Torrents out. You died again. You have to eat a spoon of mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Stamp again, nice. Ripley, are you okay? Hey. Listen, Phew. Marlo's permissions are still locked at this terminal. If we had the coordinates for the torrent, we could align the track. Thanks for the stamp. Nice. Anytime, Van says. There's an observatory near the comms array, right? Yeah. You should be able to find the torrent's coordinates using that. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my dog. He's being really weird right now. Find the Sevastopol Observatory. Okay. Well, that's easy, because all I have to do is look at my map. Is this the right way? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yes, it's true. I didn't mean to kill the woman first, I'll be honest. She was just there. I would go agent to predator, I would just cover myself in mud. <laughs> Oh shit, dead eye, you fucking smart. Hell yeah. A predator so I could admire his dreadlocks. <laughs> Who does your hair? Who does your hair, predator? Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> Any Dexter fans in the house? Uh, Seek is being progressive here, killing the woman first. <laughs> well, hey, I'm I'm a female character though. Alright? I'm a female character. So watch your check your privilege. Check your privilege. <laughs> yeah, predator. I would say predator. I love Dead Eye's answer. I'll just fight a predator and just cover myself in mud. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, it's behind us. Okay, this way. I could have just gone this way. I didn't even have to shoot them. I could have just crawled my ass over here. I'm an idiot. Oh, good, a save. Yay. We're gonna save right now. Thank you, boss says. And boss, uh, if you are if you missed it earlier, uh, normally this month I'm playing zombie games. I made January zombie month. Speaking of which, I watch, I've been trying to watch zombie movies that I haven't seen. I've seen a ton of zombie movies. So I was like, oh man, I'm never gonna like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble finding a zombie movie I haven't seen. Well, last night I watched, um, oh, let me finish. So zombie month, we're playing a bunch of zombie games minus tonight. Uh, we're playing zombie games leading up to Resident Evil seven, which we have pre-ordered and we're going to play that when it comes out. But then, um, I watched, uh, uh, train to Busan, uh, and it was like a Korean zombie movie and it's 
if you guys haven't seen it, it's on demand. You can watch it now. If you have an Xbox, you can buy or rent it for like three bucks. It's awesome. It's a really cool zombie movie. It's uh, it's more emotional. It's about this guy, his, this dad, who's like not a very good dad. He's not really pays attention to his daughter that much. She's like eight years old and she wants to go see her mom for her birthday and her, the mom and dad split up and she lives in, her, the mom lives in Busan and he takes the daughter to Busan, but on the train, a zombie outbreak happens. It's freaking cool and I highly recommend anyone who hasn't seen it to check it out. Oh shit, look at this. Damn, son. This is awesome. What's the name of the movie? It's called Train, T-R-A-I-N, like like Choo Choo Train, to Busan, B-U-S-A-N, Train to Busan. Hey, Goldheart, stay golden. You too, have a good night. Everybody, send some love to Goldheart. And like I said, make sure you're making other friends in here, following each other. Everyone in here is awesome. A lot of them are streamers. Goldheart's a great moderator over on the Where's Barry channel on YouTube. Um, if you haven't checked out Where's Barry and you're a Resident Evil fan, definitely check out Where's Barry and check out Goldheart stuff as well. And she did a great interview with Gamer Squad recently on YouTube. Really awesome person. So definitely make some other friends in here as, while you're at it. Uh, TMP says, see you, Gold, Night Gold. Ah, thank you all for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Santa says, I think I saw that. It's, it's awesome. It came out like in July of last year. Um, here in the U.S. It's Korean. But you have to, um, it's Korean uh, movie, but, but you, it has subtitles. You can watch it with subtitles. And depending on where you rent it from, they might have an English dub of it as well. Oh, thanks, Moobot. Thanks for the, uh, letting people know the rules. So yeah, train to Busan. If you if if you're in the mood for a fun, uh, I won't say fun. It's it's a heart wrenching zombie movie. It has a lot of emotion in it, but the zombies in it are freaky as shit. I don't even want to describe it because when I first saw them on screen, how they get up and move and stuff, like they must have hired dancers or something. I freaked out. I totally freaked out watching them move around. Oh shit! Come on, it's like pitch black in here. Now nah, I'm mixing it up then. The one I'm thinking of is older. Yeah, this one just came out last year. Ariel saw that movie. Yeah, Ariel was uh, commented on my Instagram post about it. Um, yeah, I liked it, Ariel. I thought it was, thought it was freaking great. All right, so where do we go now? Oh, we got to go back to the, the other thing. Okay. Oh, shit. So let's unlock this emergency clamp. Come on, Cletus. Oh, oh there we go. Uh, Moobot, you want me to follow those rules? Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> Moobot, stop being fucking bossy. Um, there's a Korean movie called Miracle in the Cell number seven. It's really good. Oh, dang. All right, Angel. I'll have to check that one out. Miracle in the Cell uh, number seven. Miracle in Cell number seven, something like that. I'll have to check that out. That sounds... Come on, come on. Um, I'm writing that down. Korean movies are my jam, dude. This one's awesome. You'll love it. You'll really. I think you'll dig it. There we go. I'm trying to learn Korean language. Oh, really? Dang, that's hardcore. Nice. My grandpa, he fought in Korea. He was in the Korean War in uh, in the 1950s and um, or 60s, 50s, 50s. Um, and he uh, he never really talked about it much before he passed away. But um, 
but I've always had like a Japanese culture, Korean culture. I've always had like a, a very intense interest in uh, in both actually, um, and films especially and st storytelling. I like seeing how other countries like tell stories and how they pace things. I think the Japanese are really good at it too. With uh, and Korean Korean films, uh, especially of late too, have been great. What is happening right now? Oh, that thing's moving. Let's get you guys a nice money shot of this thing. Dang. Uh, Seek, have you ever done what in a stream? The movie's so effed up, different, and twisted. I love it. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, there he goes again. <laughs> uh, what it? Uh, <laughs> um. I don't know. <laughs> Santa, you ain't no chick, you lied. Santa didn't lie. Santa was uh, quoting me, I think. Um, what did you ask me, uh, TMP? Um, TMP, Santa Destroyer, unfollowed. What What happened? Who No, don't unfollow people. <laughs> LOL, he says, oh, you guys are just joking. It doesn't have to be stream later, bro. I understand folks need food on their... Oh, that's nice of you, man. Uh, well, I'm... I'm definitely no no stranger to that. I uh, uh, for those who don't know, I have like a shit ton of medical bills that I uh, that are piling and up more and more and more as I as I don't pay them. Um, although I did make a payment this week, which was which was which is why I'm broke again. <laughs> uh, but I'll save it in there for now, and if I need it for an emergency, I will definitely use it, dude. I appreciate that. Uh, big shout out to CB. So CB, you reminded me, you and Dead Eye. So I'm going to add a new section onto my wall back here. It's going to hang here. Unfortunately, it's going to cover some of my Resident Evil toys, uh, but it's got, but those are going to be gone next month anyway. So there's going to be a section here called Brain Donors. So anyone who donates to the channel during Zombie Month is a brain donor <laughs> on my channel. Uh, and so I'm going to list Deadeye and CB on here for those donations this week. That's really awesome. This thing is relentless. Ricardo. Oh shit! Ricardo. You got a fucking face hugger, dude. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?